But when Ulysses S. Grant was organizing his troops in Springfield, a good friend of mine from Galena, Illinois, who also served in the House of Representatives, was a good friend of Grant. And Grant asked this gentleman to speak before the troops. Because maybe you know, in the early do days of the war, we thought the war would be over quick. And so most men enlisted for 90 days. How long did the war last? Just a few more than 90 days. Well, Grant's troops were facing their 89th day. And many of them, farmers, were ready to head home. And Grant would have no men to command. And so he asked my good friend from, Ga from Galena to help rally the troops. And his good friend from Galena said, Grant, it's not me you want to hear. It's John A. Logan. If anybody can rouse a heart and stir courage in your men, it's Congressman John A. Logan. Now, Grant, being from northern Illinois, had read those newspapers accusing me of being a copperhead and was reluctant to give me the podium. But I spoke. And I said, boys, for I always called my troops my boys. I said, boys, I understand that you volunteered for this here war. But your enlistment is up. And you might be heading home on the morning. If so, uh, so the, fare thee well. But when you get home and your lovely wife or daughter ask, so father, did you see any action? Or husband, how far south did you march? And you say, Manunk? <laughs> what kind of soldier are you? And I went on for more than an hour. And at the end, to a man, every single one re-enlisted for the full service of the war. And Grant even said, they would follow me to the ends of the earth as long as this nation had an enemy.